Australia is known as the land of eternal blue sky as they got over 250 sunny days a year. Mongolia is a landlocked country. It is the 18th largest in the world that located in Central East Asia, bordered by Russia and China. The country divided into 21 provinces or AMAX with the capital Ulaanbaatar meaning Red Hero in the northeast acting as its own municipality. Municipality means a town with its own local government with provincial status. Literally all roads in the country lead up to this one city one way or another. Fun fact, Ulaanbaatar is the world's coldest capital and it was nomadic city that moved 28 times before settling in its current location. The city in itself holds about 45% of the country's population and holds the international airport known as Chinggis Khan International and a new airport is being built on the other side of the mountain so far called New Ulaanbaatar International. On the other hand, the second and the third largest city are the Ernet and Darkhan located relatively close to Ulaanbaatar. Now, Mongolia is kind of interesting because although they don't have territorial dispute, they do have some interesting border demarcations, such as the narrow western slots of Lake Buir, shared with China, and Russia gets a small part of Uvs Lake, and on the east, you can find the Tripod Monument for China, Russia, and Mongolia at Tarbagandah. Finally, plans for a possible western tripod marker on the peak of Mount Tavan Bogdaula are on the way. The country has a main railway that transects the north to south entering both Russia and China. This also connects to the larger well-known Trans-Siberian Railway in Russia. More lines are planned to be built in the future, but for now almost the entire western part of Mongolia is only accessible by crude roads and path also host rail. When I say Mongolia, obviously I am referring to what constitutes the boundaries of modern-day state Mongolia. Keep in mind though, historical the regions of what are now, Inner Mongolia that belonged to the China were part of the larger Mongolia region and today has more ethnic Mongols than actual Mongolia. Coming to Mongolia, you will probably hit with a lot of interesting sights, especially with Genghis Khan. Some notable sites of interest might include places like all these museums. Also, the Bok Palace, Ik Burkan Complex, the Taitar Stone, the Shambhala Stupa structure that the local kind of consider as center of energy for the universe. Of course, there's a lot more different ministries like Gandan, Alagbutil, Mazushir, Ama, Bayaz Galan, including the oldest one like Erdini Zoo, and not forget to mention the pride and glory statue, the Sonjin Baldog Genkis Han statue. But the thing Mongolia is probably known most for is not the handmade and marks, but rather the vast open expanses of grassland where all the power began. <laughs> Mongolia just like all the other country, it has its own unique tradition, festival and sports. So let's keep digging. <laughs> The sport of Mongolian wrestling is the most popular of all Mongol sports and has existed in Mongolia for centuries in one form or another. Historians claim that Mongol style wrestling originated some 7,000 years ago. Originally, Bok was a military sport intended to provide mainly strength, stamina, and skills training troops. Genghis Khan and all the later emperors of the Mongol Empire and also the emperor of later Khanids were keen to support the sport for this reason. So wrestling events were included in local festivals. 
Genghis Khan used wrestling to keep his army in good physical condition and ready for combat. Wrestling was also used occasionally as a way of eliminating political rivals. of the wrestler has been developed over the age to reflect simplicity and mobility. Wrestler outfit include a four-sided traditional hat, zodok, shudak and traditional boot with upturned toes. The four side of the hat and golden knot ball at the top represent the four provinces and for the five shabby of old Mongolia. Since 1995, a red ribbon with horizontal yellow strip was added to the head which represent one's rank and achievement at the state and provincial nadam. Also, silver and golden badge with avarga, aslan and hasaga image were added on the front of a head. Zodok and shudak are made of soft and silky fabric. Shudak waistband and leg opening are weaved with soft leather and sleeve rope is made of a fiber thread or kadak. Today, wrestler wear only red and blue color zodok and shudak. Wrestler have been wearing boot with up to two since ancient time. To prevent feet slipping out of boot, a bamboo stick is placed between the chef and sock. Also, a piece of long leather is strapped around the boot to prevent it from slipping on the ground. The top part is called Kara which is embroidered with traditional pattern. Today, from over worship ceremonies and anniversaries of countries and province, no Mongolian festival is without wrestling. In a country of 3 million people, some 30,000 of them are active wrestlers and they compete against each other in year round indoor and outdoor special competition. Abi Silingam Gorhanto Samiri, Altri Sportron Ibu, Mongol Sears was great to an athlete. Otto knew who he chilled it, Horgarangi, Poljoy, the Bagasata, through a hooked watcher in the guides at the hotel, Disney has a reward. Тэр <laughs> Let's interview with one of them, Robin Aslan Bechagu. He will explain the cultural significance of wrestling. Mongol don't know which not on one. Bottoms like the Yost Jay, Sotney Yadra, the Nasne, Sotney Yadra, Sot Yadik Sincha, the Yadik Lavit, the Yadik Yad Yadik Sorson, there isn't. To get the Sotney Yadra Irm Tarag, and there isn't. Wrestlers have always been treated with respect and dignity in this country, as they are seen the epitomic real Mongol men, honest, humble, kind, brave, and patient. Sport. Тэр дундаа үндэсний спорт бол бас тэр үндэсний соёл яс зан шил за одоо бас их олон тийм нандин шин чанарыг агуулсан байдаг. За манай үндэсний бүх бол яг одоо тэдний нэг айдал ах цаха хүндлэх том цолтой бүх өө хүндлэх. За тэгээд олон одоо эрчүүдийн дунд ороод барилж байгаа учраас их сайхан одоо хүмүүслийг бий болгодог. Unig at the second to do shoot the doctor at the nine Norota, Manaki, the Stotta. Humbled our bottle, 
улсын цал аваад үндэсний нөхөр байрлсан хүмүүс болгон тийм явах боломж өгч дээ тийм. Тэгээ бүх спортор хичээлсэн хүн бол ер нь би дан шийдвэр гаргах чадвар их сайтай болдог. За одоо ямар ва нэгэн төрлийн одоо юм хариуцуулахад итгэл алдахааргүй. Тэгэхээр яад тэгж байна гэхээр аврах болохгүй ч гэсэн хүн одоо үндэсний бүх спортор хичээлсэн хүн бол би хааны хувьд зан төлөвчлийн хувьд төлөвчлөх байхгүй. За одоо энэ сүүлийн үед хүмүүс энэ фитнес тийм зүрийн спортроос хичээлдэг байсан. Манай үндэсний бүх бол би одоо баг 80% нь ил байдаг үзэгтийн нүдэнд. За бас нэлээдгүү тийм ганцаарчлан төрлийн спорт, эр зөргийн спорт. Ер нь бол нэг хэр баргийн аав их бас барилчихааргүй. Бас нэг өөрийгөө нэг сориод үзье, шавхаад үзье, тэмцээд үзье. Ялтан төрж үзье гэсэн бас нэг эр зөргтөө итгэл үнэмшилттэй. За тэгээ үндэсний спортод хайртай дуртай тиймэл хүмүүс яа одоо сонгож хичээлдэг. Спорт үнэхээр бас нэг өөрийгөө бас нэг ямар нэгэн төвшөнд сориод үзье гэж байгаа юм бол юм үндэсний хүн спорт хичээлээ л үзэхэд амтахгүй шүү л гэж. It is said that every Mongolian family wants their baby boy to pick up a wrestler. That Chagor family is no exception. Like any other Mongolian father, he wants to see his two sons dancing like a falcon on a green field of Nedermonde. But acquiring a rank is not the most important thing. He says raising his children with good manners and strong principles. The wrestling is what he looking for. Билдрийн хувьд ингээл хөөхт ингээл хөгжи штэ. Тэгэхээр ер нь би билдрийн хувьд хөгжи сайтай хүмүүс зан төлөвчлөн бол арай өөр болдог байхгүй. Тэгэхээр олон нэг юм дунд одоо энэ хөөхтөө чинь би дагаад амьдрана. Тэгэхээр нэг юм дунд өөр юм гисэн нэг тийм үйлсэл бодолтой хүнтэй хайцах шадвар сайтай. Тэгэхээр нэг өөрийгөө нэг ингээл аваад явдах явах тийм хэмжээний чадвартай л болох төлөвчлөлтэй. За тэр нь л үндэсний хөхийн гол давуу The goal of a match is to get any part of the body except the feet of the opponent to touch the ground. In a match, there are no weight classes, age limitations, or time limits. It is not unusual during the Mongolian Nadam to see a toddler wrestling a grown man. In Boh, it is generally understood that a match should not take a very long time, especially in the lower rounds. Although there are no time limit for a bout, In the higher rounds, it used to take more than an hour or two for a fight to end because each wrestler trying to get feel of the other. This led to a strategy that encouraged the wrestler's zasul or wrestler's helper to set up equal grip positions between the wrestlers to finish the fight quicker if the match moves slowly. The winner of each round will qualify to the next round while the losers will be eliminated. There is some differences in rules and technique between Mongolian version and Indo-Mongolian. For Indo-Mongolian, they are not allowed to touch the opponent's leg with hands while the Mongolian version it is in the opposite. But striking, strangling or locking is illegal in both varieties. In Hulun Buir, which is categorized Indo-Mongolian, wrestler may kick his opponent directly in the legs but it is not sanctioned by the other styles and is banned in the official code the most interesting in both tournament is when one contestant throws the other to the ground he is supposed to help the latter get back on his feet before he dances his way out of the field also when a wrestler's clothes get loose or entangled his opponent is expected to stop attacking and help the former to rearrange them Nadam is the most widely celebrated festival among Mongols during the Qing dynasty rule Nadam became a festival officially held by some Now it is formally celebrated to commemorate the 1921 revolution when Mongolia declared independence from the Qing dynasty and it also coincides with Mongolian state flag day. Nadam also celebrates the achievement of the newly established state.
it was celebrated as a religious holiday until the secularization in 1930s under the communist influence of the Soviet Union. The biggest festival, National Nadam, is held in the Mongolian capital Ulaanbaatar during the national holiday from July 11 to July 13 in the National Sports Stadium. Nadam is also celebrated regions of Mongolia and in the Mongolia in July and August. In the Tuva Republic, Nadam is celebrated on 15th August. Another festival book is completed is at the Kofsgol Festival, an ice festival held at Lake Kofsgol. The purpose of the festival is to celebrate the long, cold season from November to May. For two days, a flurry of events covers the lake, which are host lay races, archery competition, bone throwing competition, ice sculpture contest, and ice sumo. In this festival, Bukh is called Ai Sumo. The difference between Bukh in Nadam and Kofsgol festival is the venue. In Nadam, the racers fight on grassy ground, but in Kofsgol festival, the racers are fighting on top of thick, slippery cooked ice. One of the defining features of Bukh is a dance the racers perform as they enter and exit the field. In Mongolia, the racer imitates the V, a falcon or phoenix taking off. The most successful wrestler is recorded historically as Namkai, who won the Nadam 19 times and finished second 7 times. In 1895, he got his first Nadam win. However, there is no record profile of Namkai. In the modern period, since 1921, only 20 wrestlers achieved the giant rank. But Maniam Bukin Baerdeni won 11 national level tournaments. He also honored with medals from the government for his achievement. He has several nicknames for both. He retired from wrestling in 2006. But Erdeni also founded and owns Avarga Champion University in Ulaanbaatar City which train wrestlers, trainers and sportsmen. Martial art is important in a country to present their image and personality. As we can see, Mongolia have their own specialties in the martial art. Bok have taught them how to be more disciplined in their life. Not only taught them how to be disciplined, but also showing their strength in a tribe. Bok is a unique martial art that have a potential to born new strong and disciplined generation. Bok is the symbol of Mongolia. <laughs>